You know, I've always said that uh, one of these days I'm going to make enough money and I'm going to quit my job. And um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to drive straight to the beach. I'm going to set up my podcast, little table, camera, whatever else you need. Probably get a little bit away from the water so nothing breaks. No big deal. I'll figure it out when I get there. Point is, today's the day. Um, that t- today's the day that I, I I gave up. I'm. So as always, if you are a Packer fan, be sure to check out. Where is it at? Over. It's over there somewhere. Packernet podcast five days a week goes to seven days a week once the season starts and we're coming up real close. We just got two weeks, something like that, before guys have got to start showing up and, uh, I, well, whether they show up, take a test and go play video games in the room. Either way, big things are happening. But um, on today's episode, what I wanted to do is take a look at something that I've never actually looked at before because I don't care, because I don't have the game I don't play the game but I've been seeing some of the stuff um, that has been coming out and it just baffles me if you listen to the podcast you know sometimes I go on a little bit of a tirade about um, people that have pretty good jobs that don't know how to do their job and um, I try not to care that's not my problem my job is to just sit here and do the best I can with the job that I have, which is to make YouTube videos, apparently. So I went through this little, uh, where did it go? It's the Madden ratings, and I'm just kind of flipping through, and I'm looking at different stuff, and I'm kind of just getting started, and I get to defensive tackle, and I see they have Kenny Clark fifth, and I'm like, eh, all right, I mean, that's fine. That's, yeah, and I was just about to pass over it, and I'm like, I just real quick, I'm just looking, Grady Jarrett, Chris Jones, Fletcher Cox, I'm not going to get mad about it. Um, Michael, Michael Pierce is third. Michael Pierce, the guy that the Vikings just picked up, third. What a, hold on, hold on, we're doing this live. I want to see this real quick. So, he signed a three-year, $27 million deal. The dude's not even getting $10 million a year. How? How is he in the same sphere as the guys who are the, what? What what are those guys worth if they get a contract today? $20 million? $20 million? That's what Chris Jones got, isn't it? This guy can't even get 10 you know why? Because he's not the third best defensive tackle in football. So let's. So I'm like, I'm trying to figure it out, and I'm like, all right, where where is he graded higher than Kenny Clark? Because I I gotta know. I don't care if you say Grady Jarrett, Chris Jones, Fletcher Cox are better than Kenny Clark. I don't care. It's still respectful to put him up this high. <clears throat> so we start off very first rating on here. He is higher than Kenny Clark in. Sp- Speed. Michael Pierce is 340 pounds. He should have a 60 speed. Okay. Acceleration. 86 compared to Kenny Clark's 82. Again, he's fat and slow. And lives hopefully far enough away to not hurt me. I l- listen, Michael Pierce, I'm sure, is a great person, and I l- like him as a human being, and I respect him, and he's a great dad if he has kids. He's a fantastic husband if he has a wife. I bet he's um, a good cook. Please don't hurt me. But, dude, he's 340 pounds, man. He's slow. Ugh. So, anyways, let's just look at it beyond that. What, 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 what matters? Kenny Clark this past year, who had a slow start, slow start, um, 
first eight weeks kind of rough. He ended the season with nine sacks. What did Michael Pierce have? Michael Pierce, oh, he had one because he's not good at that because he's not a pass rusher because he's um, big boned and slow. I just, my, my goodness, dude, he's, a, he's an undrafted free agent that didn't even get re-signed with the Baltimore Ravens that the Vikings picked up on a whim, and it's a downgrade for the Vikings. It's a downgrade. I, I did, I, I'll, I'll be honest, I didn't expect anything, to, I didn't expect to find anything this bad. I really didn't. Um, to be honest, I decided to skip it because I wanted to keep it positive. First thing I saw that I didn't necessarily agree with was Jair. They had like third or fourth. I was like, mm. I love Jair. Um, and and to, to be fair, maybe they're looking at it as who's going to have, what's their grade going to be this year? In which case, absolutely, I could see Jair being there. Um, but this is, this is unforgivable. This is just, you, what, what information could you possibly be basing this on? I'm trying to find anything in the universe, anything in the universe that would make that so. I mean, and, and listen, Michael Pierce has been pretty good in the past as a run defender. Oh, I think PFF last year had him graded like 48th. 48th. It was a down year, but even still, you're saying he's faster than Kenny Clark. I don't I don't I don't understand that. I suppose while we're at it, we should have a little chat about Zadarius Smith. Um again, this has to be where they're expected to be this year. Um because Zadarius was better than just about everybody. All the people. Uh, if you look at his pressure percentage, uh, he's better than Khalil. Uh, if you look at PFF grades, if you look at a lot of different things, he should be way higher. Now, I've said I expect him to regress a little bit, especially statistically, uh, because statistically he had a kind of once-in-a-career kind of a deal. Uh, again, pressure percentage, like 17.2, 3%, something like that. It's, it's the kind of numbers that guys like Khalil Mack have only had once in their careers. Look it up yourself. Um, but still, are we really, really going to put him below Akeem Hicks? I'm not just trying to pick on the NFC North. I'm just picking guys. I mean, look, you want some respect? Daniel Hunter should be higher. Why is Daniel Hunter all the way? I mean, one, two, three, four, five, six. I mean, come on, man. Calais Campbell above Daniel Hunter? No. Above uh, Nick, Bo- Nick Bosa. Should be way higher. You, I would probably put Nick Bosa above Khalil Mack. Nick Bosa had one of the best rookie years ever-ish. They're just not good at their jobs, man. Melvin Ingram? Melvin, I know he used to be good. Melvin Ingram had a year or two where he was pretty solid, and you put him next to Bosa, and it's like, man, this is one of the better duos around. Now it's kind of like, they should probably just move on. I think he's coming up on a contract pretty soon. I wouldn't even pay him. I just wouldn't. He's not, and they have him above Zadarius Smith. That's just, that's absurd. Um, I'm trying to see who I can pick on here. I don't, I don't want to, I mean, Chandler Jones is way too high. He just is. And I know Cardinals fans are upset. They think he should be higher. He shouldn't. He's old, man. He's he's still good. I'm not saying he's not good, but again, um, Miles Garrett is lower. That's ridiculous. Joey Bosa is lower. A little bit ridiculous. Uh, Daniil Hunter is lower. Stupid. Um, Nick Bosa should be way higher. Zadarius should be way up at the top. Even if you think he's going to regress, which he probably will a little bit statistically. Um, I mean, as far as pressures and whatnot. Hoping he takes a step forward in terms of run defense. But what is this picture? Is that is that Zadarius Smith? That doesn't look like Zadarius Smith. That looks like a cornerback of some sort. It's not good, man. It's not good. That should be way higher. And I, you know, I'm not just trying to be biased, but can we all agree? Does anyone disagree with me on that? Even if he takes a step back, I think he should be above Akeem Hicks. Statistically speaking, mm, I know what he did in 2018. Are we just, is that what we're doing? We're picking, are we just like stuck in a time warp? Is Madden done by like guys that 
saw football two years ago and kind of just stopped watching, and they're like, mm, shoot, I got to do that thing again. Frank over at Madden wants me to do my list. Oh, Akeem Hick, ooh, he's really good. Because he hasn't seen, like, the 2019 Bears that aren't as good as the 2018 Bears. You know, Akeem Hicks, who is very good, is not 2018 Akeem Hicks. I don't know if they saw that or not, but uh, it's a thing, and they should check it out. Also, Zadarius is now a Green Bay Packer and is one of the best pass rushers in football. So be sure to check that out, whoever you are, Madden person. Oh, look at that. David Bakhtiari is number one. Approved. They've got Devontae, number five. I'm good with it, man. They're putting him in the top five. That's I've, I've always said that the, the top of the wide receiver thing is tough. Um, I know I said I think he can be a top three receiver this year, potential number one guy, but um, if you got him in the top five, that's respect. Among among the, the group that he's in, that's a tough top five to crack. So They have Aaron Rodgers sitting at number six, which, again, I'm okay with six, but I got one thing that I want Madden to do right now. If you're going to put him at six, and if I'm going to sign off on it, you take Tom Brady – and you switch him with Deshaun Watson, okay? I'm not going to sit here and say that Tom Brady is better than Aaron Rodgers. He never has been. He just hasn't, okay? There's no... Okay, let's go through. So speed, yep, Rodgers is better. Accuracy, they... that can't... Oh, that's acceleration. I was going to say, wow, their dog and Tom Brady pretty bad. Um, forget, I'm not even going to look at what, what category. What is the category? His cerebralness is like 7,000? His pocket awareness? I, I don't... I don't it, it, accuracy, maybe. He's pretty accurate, assuming he's going to continue throwing his six-yard passes. Yeah, he's real, real good at that. He's great. He doesn't belong above Aaron Rodgers, right? The team over in New England, once in a lifetime, and Tom Brady did a great job over there, but this is dumb. He's not over there. He doesn't have his system. He doesn't have his defense. He's got a bunch of brand new wide receivers who like to go <whistles> way down that way, and Tom Brady's got to figure out how to throw it beyond 10 yards. Best of luck to you, Tom. If you want to put somebody above Aaron Rodgers in that number five spot, you put Deshaun Watson there. I don't think he should be there, but I'm just telling you right now, do that. Do that. Anybody else we can put in there? Um, I think Kirk is too low. Again, I'll, I'll give him that. I think Matt Stafford is too low. Um but still, Pat Mahomes, fine. Russell Wilson, fine. Lamar Jackson, fine. Drew Brees, fine. Tom Brady, no. No, he's not. And it's not just Tom Brady hate. I just, I'm just telling you, as competitive as he is, as determined as he is to refuse to give up, and I respect that, the guy doesn't have any attributes that make him a better quarterback than Aaron Rodgers. Um, the final thing I would like to look at here is the ultimate form of disrespect, and I won't stand for it. Um, putrid. Putrid. He's, he's top two, at, at least, and that is, of course, J.K. Scott. Um, you're going to slander my punter that way. Um, we're just going to fight. Okay, you want to put Johnny Hacker up there? Fine. Johnny Hacker's an 86. J.K. Scott is an 85.9. Okay. I don't care if you do fractional grades. You're, you're going to start today, all right? Or at least put them at – just round it to an 86, but just put them in the spot below them. You got Brett Kern and Sam uh, Koch, whatever, Coke, Fiend, 84. They're both tied. Put J.K. Scott, 86. It should be a tie. Disgusting. Disgusting. Unforgivable. Unforgivable. Anyways, that's it. Those are the reviews. Madden is a joke. Um, I hope it's fun to play, but uh, don't put a whole lot of stock in it um, because it's just they don't know what they're doing over there. It's just ridiculous. I thought about doing a like a Madden, and I might still do it, especially now that I'm doing video type stuff, like a, a Madden thing where I get to be like the GM. But that would be impossible because it's like, ooh, I got to go get, oh, wait, never mind. They think he's trash even though he's not. Oh, this would be a thing. I gotta like relearn the whole league because they've created their own fantasy league where people who are bad are really good and people who are good are kind of trash. But anyways, again, be sure to hit the subscribe notification down below. Hit the little bell notification. I think that's what it's called. The subscribe is a button. The bell is a notification. Be sure to check out the Packernet podcast. 
every single day except the weekends where now I'm making YouTube videos and whatnot. Um, otherwise, just enjoy your Sunday, and I'll try to catch you tomorrow if possible.